Hi, it is Monday, June 29th, and our devotion begins with a reading from the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1, beginning at the first verse. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, in keeping with the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my dear son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God, whom I serve as my ancestors did, with a clear conscience, as night and day I constantly remember you in my prayers. Recalling your tears, I long to see you, so that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded lives in you also. For this reason, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For the Spirit of God, for the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. So do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord, or of me, his prisoner. Rather, join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Like many parents, Amy Peterson has hopes and expectations of her child as she grows and develops. And like many of us, those hopes and expectations include a life of faith. Ms. Peterson writes, My daughter has become fascinated with Nancy Drew. In the last three weeks, she's read at least a dozen of the novels featuring the girl sleuth. She comes by her love of detective stories honestly. I loved Nancy Drew too, and the blue bound copies that my mom read in the 1960s still line a shelf in her house. Seeing this affection passed down makes me wonder what else I'm passing down. In his second letter to Timothy, Paul wrote that when he thought of Timothy, he was reminded of the sincere faith that lived in Timothy's grandmother and mother. I hope that along with her love of mysteries, my daughter is also inheriting faith, that she will serve as her grandparents have, that she will pray, and that she will hold on to the promise of life that is Christ Jesus. I also see hope here for those who don't have parents or grandparents who know Jesus. Though Timothy's father isn't mentioned, Paul calls Timothy his dear son. Those who don't have families to pass down faith can still find parents and grandparents in the church, people who will help us figure out how to live a holy life and to embrace the gifts God has given us, gifts of power, love, and self-discipline. Truly, we all have a beautiful inheritance. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of faith, a gift we can not only pass down to our children, but a gift we can pass along to and encourage in others. Amen.